what happens when India successfully tests next-gen hypersonic technology? If you ask global defense experts, they'll say this, it changes the balance of power. Because that's exactly what India just achieved. For the first time, India has successfully conducted a 120-second ground test of a scramjet engine, a breakthrough in hypersonic missile technology. Hypersonic missiles, capable of travelling over Mach 5, are revolutionising modern warfare with their ability to bypass traditional air defence systems. But with such rapid advancements come critical questions, who holds the power? Who is held accountable? 5,400 km per hour? That's how fast hypersonic missiles travel, five times the speed of sound. So why is this happening now? India's Defence Research and Development Organisation, DRDO, has been steadily advancing its capabilities in response to escalating global competition. This scramjet breakthrough positions India alongside the USA, Russia and China in the hypersonic race. The engine, developed by Hyderabad-based DRDL, demonstrated stable combustion under extreme conditions, achieving what engineers liken to keeping a candle lit in a hurricane. This innovation wasn't an overnight success but the culmination of advanced computational fluid dynamics, fuel innovation and thermal barrier advancements. Hypersonic missiles represent the future of warfare, experts declared years ago. Nations like the USA and Russia began investing heavily in this technology in the early to 000s recognizing its strategic value. India's journey into hypersonic development gained momentum in the last decade, with key milestones like test-firing long-range hypersonic missiles off Odisha's coast. Now, the scramjet engine's success builds on that foundation, setting the stage for next-generation systems. Key preparation steps included Developing endothermic scramjet fuel, a first for India. Innovating advanced ceramic coatings to withstand temperatures beyond the melting point of steel. These achievements reveal the extent of India's commitment to self-reliance in defence manufacturing under its Azadi Ka Amrit Mahotsav initiative. India's breakthrough is not an isolated case. In 2018, Russia unveiled its Avangard hypersonic glide vehicle. In 2021, China conducted hypersonic glide tests that reportedly circled the globe. The USA's continued developments, including Darpa's glide breaker program, highlight the global arms race. A pattern is clear, nations are vying for supremacy in a technology that promises speed, precision and strategic dominance. But as these weapons proliferate, questions arise about their destabilizing effects. Should we celebrate the leap in defence capabilities or pause to consider the ethical implications? What alternatives exist for de-escalating this arms race? India's success with the scramjet engine demonstrates its engineering prowess, but the ultimate cost of this innovation? strategically and morally, remains to be seen. In a world racing toward hypersonic supremacy, the question isn't just who gets there first, but at what price?